first, um, let me, let's just, let's talk about the Riemann hypothesis. So, uh, so Riemann, okay, so this is in uh, uh, 18, uh, so I think 59, this was before Abraham Lincoln was president, right? So, uh, so he had this function, okay, and um, so for sufficiently, so real s sufficiently large, blah, 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 blah. Uh, so then the, the trivial zeros um, are at the negative even integers and the non-trivial zeros are conjectured to be um, on, have real part equal to, uh, so the real part of uh, lambda equal to a half, okay? so. And then this has implications for the distribution of prime numbers, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so um, let's recall that there's, uh, so Dedekind, late 1800s, uh, Artin, Hasse. Okay, so what they considered is for R, a Dedekind domain, uh, they looked at, um, these these other functions uh, zeta of r of s, which was this sum of these ideals i to the s, where this thing here is just the cardinality of r mod i. Okay, so they looked at these uh, sums over these um, uh, these things. Okay, and uh, and now I'm going to try and get to what, what Vey was working on. So let's look at the case. There's a special case to consider. A special case to consider is when like R looks like this. So this is a, this is the idea. And then it turns out that, um, uh, that this corresponds to a geometric object. And this is, so now we're, we've started to kind of hit geometry. And this thing here uh, looks like, um, so you could take a product over primes. Uh, and, and so now we can take, uh, uh, let's say here to the minus s. Um, so there's this thing, so, uh, so, okay, so this is a irreducible polynomial. Okay, and it turns out um, that this, we can work this out. Maybe I'll do this in another video or, or talk about, okay, so then there's a non-trivial fact that this is um, uh, the, this generating function, it's related to the generating function for point counts. So for, f p to the n uh, so t to the n over n okay so um, okay so here x is uh, okay so the connection between this and this is um, is, is uh, kind of uh, so these are irreducible polynomials in here uh, the connection between here and here is non-trivial um, I'm not going to explain that but there's plenty of good resources out there for this Okay, and so um, this kind of gives you the connection to geometry, and then we're going to study this. Okay, so what Ve does, Ve studies. Uh, so these, this guy. So uh, so for x over let's say f p or q. So this is just needs to be. Let's just do it over f p for for simplicity right now. Um, uh, so x, t, and then this is smooth, let's say the dimension over fp of x is equal to n, okay? Um, he studies this thing in general, right? So it's the thing I just wrote down, but I wrote it down for a curve, although I used the notation of something general, um, p to the n over, or let's say, I already used n, um, let's say m, m over m here okay so this is the the zeta function for a variety over a finite field okay and um 
what he did was he in so in in 1949 so there's the ICM the International Congress of Mathematicians he gave a lecture where he he proved well he, he gave some conjectures about this thing, about these varieties, and then he proved it for curves, or maybe curves and abelian varieties. I think he just curves then, okay? And um, so he's he has these conjectures, which were called the Vey conjectures, and there's four of them, okay? Um, so there's four of them. The first one is that, uh, okay, first one is rationality. So the, this thing's a, a actually, a, 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 you know, the quotient of two polynomials uh, with coefficients in, uh, uh, so this is coefficients in Q, okay? So Z of X, T. So maybe I'll save this space here for, for what I'm going to do in a second. The, the other conjecture, the next conjecture is, um, uh, I don't know, so what, what should we call this? The functional equation. Okay, uh, and there's there's a certain shape that goes with this. So it says that this thing looks like um, a product. So even guys on the top, uh, or odd guys, sorry. Even guys on the bottom. Uh, where this guy here um, looks like uh, zoom out a little bit. Okay, this guy here looks like a product of one minus alpha i j t from j is equal to one up to a certain number b i, and this will look like a. Uh, uh, so a certain like characteristic polynomial, okay? And it turns out that um, um, so that there's there's a symmetry there's a symmetry on the zeta function. So if uh, let's say if if p i of alpha is zero, then then p of two n minus i of q to the n over alpha is equal to zero. Okay, and the third thing that we have is that um, uh, <clears throat> so th yeah, there's there's kind of a maybe there's actually a more general thing. I don't know if it's more general. Anyway, there's another way you can another thing that that implies this is there's a functional equation for this. So that encodes all of these things. So you can really invert, uh, you can say zeta of xt is equal to, I think it's q to the 2n times zeta of x um, q, to, uh, q to the n 1 over t. Um, so sorry, 1 over q to the 2n. Okay. Uh, all right. Anyway. Um, oh. Okay, so 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 now there's this part. This is the, the third one is the Raman hypothesis for varieties over finite fields. Uh, okay, and this this conjecture said that um, that these guys here are are have integer coefficients, and that um, these alpha ij's are um, algebraic integers, and that they have a, they have a certain absolute value. Okay? And then 4 says that if um, okay, so 4 says that if uh, x is the reduction mod p uh, mod p of let's say x. So I guess now here uh, you don't you you you're not, you can't always assume that you're over FP because you have to take um, so if you're the reduction mod P of a variety over over C, right? Then these uh, BI, which was the degree of these PIs, 
is actually equal to the dimension, the Betty numbers of x uh, with coefficients in c. So this is this connection to topology here. Okay, so there's four conjectures here. Um, that's that. And um, let me say a little bit more about this. Okay, so uh, so this is going to be the like I said, this is this is going to be the the. Um, okay, let me just say this. Okay, so he he wanted. Okay, so he wanted a cohomology theory. Okay, he wanted a cohomology theory, and the cohomology theory was going to be cooked up so that it looked like um, a singular cohomology. So this is singular cohomology here, and um, and and properties of the cohomology theory were going to imply these property pro these these uh, conjectures. For example, this one here, the functional equation, comes from Poincaré duality. Okay. Okay. So with this, Groth and Dieck, um in the the fifties. So Groth and Dieck, uh started looking for a Vey's cohomology theory. So. Uh, Oh, my pen. Well, let me get a pen real quick. Okay, so I'm back and maybe I got a pen. Okay, looked for... Does that work well? Okay. Looked for uh, Vey's cohomology uh, theory. Okay, so this is uh, in Ser, let's say, plus Ser, plus others. So this is in the 50s. Okay, and um, so by 1958, so, so by 1958, uh, Groth and Dieck uh, had found uh, found uh, L attic at all cohomology cohomology okay and proved uh, one two and four so this is uh, this is the rationality this is the functional equation Okay, and this one here is the comparison theorem. The comparison of singular cohomology G. Okay, so um, so this L attic at all cohomology here. So this is um, so what he needed. He would needed the notion of a site, right? Uh, so the atoll site of X, right? And then he then what he did is he he uh, looked at uh, cohomology on this atoll site with respect to uh, a certain limit of constant sheaves. Okay, so and this is L for L different from P. So X is a variety over uh, F P. Okay, so um, in, okay, so then he he associates it to this 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 is this L attic at all cohomology, L attic at all cohomology. Okay, so um, so let me just say a couple words about this program. Um, okay, so so there's a so let me let me say the so. This is what I like to refer to as the standard conjectures. So these are like the Vey conjectures. So Vey's conjectures about these things. Okay. So there's there's the properties. So growth and uh, deek. Uh, uh, so isolated properties. Of singular cohomology.
Okay, and I should say that it was uh, Vey's idea for to to actually have to use the Lefschetz fixed point theorem in order to um, uh, prove the the uh, rationality of the Riemann zeta function or the not the Riemann zeta function of this uh, zeta function for varieties over finite fields. Okay, so there's there's these properties. Okay, so the properties are so we're looking for a functor. Okay, so let me just do it here. Okay, so we have varieties over say FP, and then we're we're going to get a functor to uh, graded rings over K, and K is characteristic zero field. So this is characteristic zero field. So this is going to be the you know like we take a variety and then we associate it to we X and we map it to uh, this bullet of X like this, okay? So in here, so this is in the category of, of uh, graded rings, and this is with maybe the cup product on cohomology, okay? So let me say the properties, okay? So this, this cohomology theory has finiteness, this, so this is a finite dimensional vector space. Um, uh, so there's vanishing at higher, the, the higher grading, so this says that uh, uh, hi of x is equal to zero when um, i is greater than, so let's say this is x is, so x has dimension n, uh, i is greater than the two times the dimension of x, and when i is less than or equal, or less than zero, okay, so there's vanishing here. Um, the third property is that there's a trace map Okay, which um, from the top cohomology to uh, the field K. Uh, fourth property is there's a Poincaré duality. And the Poincaré duality says that HI is isomorphic to H2N minus I under cup product. Okay, the fifth property is the Kunath formula, and this says that uh, is equal to uh, the tensor product in graded rings here. Okay, uh, the sixth property, and I'm running out of room. Uh, so these are these Lefschetz properties. Okay, and these are the trickiest of them all. Um, so this, these are essentially generalizations or things around the Lefschetz hyperplane theorem, which uh, allow you to uh, recover cohomology of a projective variety from its intersections. So, okay, it says that there's essentially like an isomorphism between, so, got, so, so if I have a projective variety, Okay, and then I can take a hyperplane section here, and then I can look at this guy here. So this is H, this is X here, and then this line here is X intersect H. Okay, and so there's a correspondence between cohomology here and cohomology here, and there's there's a map between them called the so where you kind of pair with this this hyperplane section, and um, and then this says so at certain dimensions that um, that you have isomorphisms. Uh, but then there's kind of generalizations of this, uh, saying that there's a decomp, so there's a weak version of this, and then there's a hard version of this, and then there's a, there's a, there's a cycle map property. Um, okay, so these properties were really important in, uh, like, what in, in Growth and Unique Standard Conjecture's paper, because uh, here, after proving one, two, and four, uh, he he used these to um, to show that if you could if you could cook up your cohomology theory, if you could show that your cohomology theory had uh, this property, uh, these these properties, then you could prove the third one, which is what Deline ultimately proved. And actually, after the fact, he proved 
he, he actually did it without doing going through Growth and Deke's idea, Growth and Deke's method here. Uh, but he maybe maybe I'll do a video on this. Um, but he uh, uh, afterwards, after proving the vague conjectures, proved um, the hard left shits theorem uh, using yeah the vague conjectures, but not you know not the other way. Um, okay, so so this is what he had. So like actually. So, at the time when when Vey, so, so okay, so at the time when Vey was um, was doing his his uh, Vey conjectures, right? Um, so let me box this here. Um, we they didn't know about this at all. Site this was this is bizarre. This was bizarre at the time, and um, they were looking for this cohomology functor. They didn't know this, so they so Growth and Deke again. He he started looking for. Um, these things, but he, he looked at a bunch of different things. He looked at um, uh, etal cohomology, so l attic etal cohomology, and then he was looked at this this thing called crystalline cohomology. This is after he he after 1958, I think it was like 1963, uh, and then there was a, so then the most obvious one that to look at is the Durham cohomology, and so he was looking at these three and he was thinking that. Uh, you know, essentially everyone thinks that uh, the, all of these will, will satisfy these. They should all work, right? But we just can't prove it. They should all work to, to, to satisfy these properties and hence uh, give the uh, Raman hypothesis for varieties over finite fields. Okay, so, um, so that's that. Uh, now I want to talk about what Deniger idea is for the, for the the Raman, Raman, Raman hypothesis. Okay, and so Denninger in the early nineties. So uh, nineteen nineties. Okay, so he made a Denninger cohomology theory. So he has this idea that there should be a cohomology theory that should give you, um, be able to prove the Raman hypothesis, Raman hypothesis for varieties over finite fields. And, um, okay, so here he's looking for, okay, so the, maybe I'll do another paper or another, not another paper, another video on, on this to explain what this site is, but he's looking for essentially a site. And so we'll just call this schemes over F1 for now, or this can be motives or whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it. And so, and this is what the arithmetic site that uh, uh, Kahn and Kahn are, are doing. Okay. To, um, so graded vector spaces. So I guess this is graded, we can say graded rings again rings over, let's say, C, okay? And um, so here they have the same properties, okay? So then Deniger, so um, I actually have the name of the paper, where did, where did it go? Uh, so, so in this uh, motivic uh, L functions and regularized zetas, a regularized determinants, This is a 1994 paper, okay? He so he he goes and he and he does eight properties again, okay? So what do we had? We had the finiteness, so we had this vanishing. Um, we had this trace map. Uh, we had a Poincaré duality. Uh, we have the Kunith formula. Uh, okay, and then we have these Lefschetz properties. Okay, so we we do want some like Lefschetz trace formula. So we want a Lefschetz trace formula in our case. Uh, trace, but this is going to be weird. Okay. Um, finiteness I didn't write down. Finiteness actually changes in this theory, and it's going to be for Shayness. 
So these cohomologies here, so first of all, there's some weird site sitting around, okay? And, and so the site you can think of as, so the site is going to be, uh, so for every scheme, uh, you're going to be able to associate to it a site. And for every Arakelov uh, scheme, you're, go you're going to also be able to associate it to it a, a one of these sites. Okay, the site is actually going to have um, some. Uh, so there's going to be a, a sheaf on it on it. So this, so which he denotes as a script C, and uh, then then you're going to fr from that you're going to form the sheaf cohomology um, with coefficients, or you're going to do yeah, just going to do sheaf cohomology for that sheaf on on this site. And then you're going to have, then it's going to satis, need to satisfy these axioms, okay? Um, okay, so for Shayness, the finiteness does, they're not no longer going to be finite dimensional vector spaces, but they're going to be for Shay spaces. So they're going to be like function spaces. And, um, okay, so now there's some new stuff. So this is new and, and really weird and cool. Uh, so there's going to be a Hodge star operation. Okay, so there's going to be... Um, so the star goes from h of i to h of uh, 2n minus i. Okay, there's um, going to be a real action, a real Frobenius. So on this site here, there's going to be an action of, uh, of the positive reals. So this guy is going to act here, and this is going to be some type of real analog, like I said, some real analog of the Frobenius that you had in, uh, in for the tall cohomology or crystalline cohomology. Okay, so okay, may, and and uh, maybe I'll do a, a video on this. Um. Yeah, so there's Poincaré, then, yeah, there's a cut product, you know, so the, here it has a cut product, too, I need to say that. Okay, so now I just kind of want to get into um, the, the Denninger's proof. Uh, conjectural proof. So the proof strategy, it, it actually goes back to uh, Hilbert and Poya, right? So, and this is the early 1910s. Uh, okay, or, okay, so this is, um, and so first I need to, I think, state a, a theorem. And, um, and where is the theorem? So the 